if one or two men call thee an ass, don't worry about it. But if three men call thee an ass, buy a saddle and blanket. I am being told by my people on the Pontiac mailing list that my two and a half ton deer last jack here just is not adequate for what I want to do. And I also need to move my jacks forward, uh, perhaps somewhere over here. Um, so that there's not quite so much weight resting on them. And also I need to move my tires forward probably where the jacks are sitting now. But uh, this is why I ask their advice because they know what they're doing and I don't. So I'd be an idiot not to follow it. Um, unfortunately I cannot afford a better jack right now. So instead of doing that part of the job, I'm going to remove the brake drums and I'm going to clean up the uh, I'm going to clean up the cobwebs that are underneath the car and I'm going to clean up my donor parts which are currently very rusty. I'm going to see if I can't get them cleaned up and uh, ready for the installation. Uh, that way when it does come time to actually start getting underneath the car and taking big heavy things apart, uh, that part of the job will already be done. Damn the grass! John Hugentober commented that my uh, port side uh, exhaust pipe looked as if it may have been mashed a little bit flat. Uh, this is dished in right here deeply Ugh. yeah you can see the the shadow I mean it is it's as flat as a flitter as we say here in Mississippi so how much clearance am I supposed to have between all of this right oh, oh yeah I'm not supposed to be under here while the uh, until it's safer <laughs> but I just thought I would shoot this video while I was you know down here all right gotta get this drum off this is my uh, dust cap I think it just pries off To be continued. All right, I think I got it figured out now. Dust cap. Cotter pin. Okay, there's the cotter pin. Huh. I wonder if it's supposed to be that loose. I think these bearings want to come out next. Alright, now I think the drum just comes right off.
Magic, magic. Come on, big money, no whammies. Side. These are my actual wood on my brake pads, except they may be called shoes or something different on drum brakes. These get mashed. This cylinder here pushes outward and it presses these brake brake surfaces against the inside of the drum. And that supposedly slows you down, but not as good as disc brakes do, which is why I'm making the change. Alright, I got these two bolts out finally, but my backing plate is still not coming off. So I'm missing something. Not this. All right. I guess it was this. Ah. And my brake line's in the way. All right, I'm just going to cut these, this brake line. Okay. All right. And there we have my spindle. To give some idea of just how thick this 40-year-old road grime is. Look at that. It's got to be a centimeter deep. That is crazy. All this is going to get cleaned up. All right. I think I've got most of it uh, chiseled away, but I'm still going to be cleaning it when uh once i get it pulled out so there i am minding my own business working on my car when out crawls this big ass spider 